Hi, everybody. Hey. It's Tuesday. Hi, everybody. Hi. Meat sandwiches here. I'm Boris. Uh, we're getting ready for the Boris and Robin show. It's going to start in uh, a few moments. Yep. Uh, and uh, lots of stuff going on on today's show. First of all, it is Ticked Off Tuesday. It is. Today. We're going to open up the phone lines and find out what's bugging you guys, uh, something that you're uh, ticked off about. I, I'm ticked off about something. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but let's see. I mean, this is what I'm ticked off about. Hear that? No, I, I don't. You, know, you don't get that? I'm just hearing your keys jingle. Yes, yeah. they don't sound the way they used to. We got we got these new uh, key fobs yeah. here at the radio station that gets us into the, uh, the building. Mm. And it makes this hollow, plasticky noise on my keychain that you could just hear... You hear that? I guess you can hear it. You can't nice hear it that good here. Robin, Robin Taylor will attest to it. We were both walking down the hall yesterday after the show, and we're like, "Oh God, that noise just it goes right to your brain." You think so? This key fob. I want to wrap it in something so it doesn't doesn't make that oh that hollow plasticky noise. It's ruined my keychain uh, jangle. I have no idea what you're talking my about. My I had a great jangle on my keychain. <laughs> I think you're starting to really stretch for tick off Tuesday topics. No, <laughs> I'm, what's I'm serious. Every day I pick up my keys. I'm like, oh. Ugh! I can't stand the noise. You, know, you have the fob on your keychain? I do. I don't have the keys on me. But you haven't uh, noticed the change in the, the tone of the keys? No, I don't have a ton of keys on my keys. Right. I, I have like the fob and like two other keys. We're diving into this on the air today, so okay. we're talking about this, plus anything else that's ticking you guys off. Uh, also, our topic of the morning, uh, does your significant other have uh, some sort of item or something cluttering your house that you wish you could just secretly make disappear? And I ask this because I, I, I'm having a kind of a, a silent battle with my wife yeah. over my Pac-Man machine. Yeah, I saw that you had, like, I saw on Sunday or whatever you posted on Instagram, like, you fixed your Pac-Man machine. Mm -hmm. And my immediate thought was, how did I not know you had a Pac-Man machine? You didn't know about this? <laughs> no. I bought this years and years and years ago. I have an upright, original arcade Pac-Man game in right. my house. And it's huge. And I get it. My wife is just, it's, it's like a huge eyesore. We have it in the family room, and it takes up a lot of space. Yeah. And for probably a good year or so, it hasn't really been working. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just been this dead Pac-Man machine. Yes, but but I've been tinkering with it. I've been trying to fix it. I finally got it uh, back up and running. I, I, I yeah. did a little work on it uh, this weekend, and I got it up and running, so it's working again. I could see the disappointment in my wife's face. She's like, <laughs> oh, great. It's working. Wonderful. Yeah. But I'm not getting rid of it. I don't care. I love it. No, if you have the Pac-Man machine, why would you get rid of that? It's you know? great. It's from uh, 1980, so it's, it's pretty, like an original Pac-Man. It's an original. Game. That's nuts. From an arcade, I reworked the whole thing, and it's it's uh, it still works. It still works nice. But my 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 wife hates it, and I'm sure that uh, <laughs> you know, the first thing that happens after I pass away is that things get, go down to the curb. <laughs> uh, so we want to know. I'm sure every uh, couple goes through this. There's probably an item that their spouse has that they just can't stand. So let us know what it is. You can uh, give us a call this morning. We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, plus, Will from Beer World's going to be here. Oh, yeah. We got our beer of the week. Uh, Made Sandwich will be answering some trivia questions. If you can answer them more correctly, you're going to win uh, Are You Dumber Than Meat Sandwich? Yes. And we got tickets to the Northeast Outdoor Show, which That's is this weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah. The outdoor sports season. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited. I got to renew my fishing license. Do you have a fishing license? I do, yeah. yeah. Usually, I take my son fishing a couple times a, a, a summer. And uh, my, I just noticed mine was out of date. So ah. I'm going to do that before the Northeast Outdoor Show. Yeah, definitely. So I walk in and go, oh, I'm one of you. I've got my, <laughs> I've got my license. And like, no, it's not. This expired two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got that going on. Plus, uh, our live broadcast is happening this Friday. We're going to be down at Bagel World in Central Valley, their new location right by Smith Club Elementary. We'll give more details about that on the air this morning. Uh, let's see. Oh, Eric's writing in. Uh, Treadmill. I guess his wife must have a uh, one of those. I, I gotta tell you, treadmills take up a ton of space. They do, yeah. They do, and in most houses where I've seen a treadmill, they actually function as a uh, clothes rack, <laughs> and not a treadmill at all. Yeah. It's got crap on top of them. Right. You use it for like two weeks, and then it's like, all right, now yeah. I have a treadmill. That's a good item that uh, is cluttering the house. So, all right, so keep them coming. Uh, we'll uh, be on the air shortly. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching the pre-show show, everybody. We'll talk to you in a bit.